Hello, uh, this is a video response to Illiterate Nick, aka Mystical Forest's video on political correctness, a cancer in America. Um, I'm actually not going to refer to the whole video, I'm just, there's actually just one small part that this is going to address, and I hope to keep it short. Um, speaking of, um, of Nick, um, I've been so jealous of his poster that I thought I'd get one of my own, uh, you know, kind of just envious of it. It was, in fact, you know... It, it, it's possible that that part of my dislike of him has been this envy thing. So I got my own, but I think it's kind of a cheap knockoff because um, I don't remember Leonidas having a, a bicycle helmet on. Anyway, it's some made in Oklahoma knockoff, I guess. But anyway, nonetheless, still, I do have my own 300 poster now. So, um, Nick, you talk about free health care for Native people. Um, you, you know, I... It, I swear you're you're killing me, man. You you open your mouth up and more bullshit comes out of it. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm gonna. I just about. I I honestly lost my coffee through my nose when you said that you have free health care because people felt sorry for what they did to your ancestors. You think that's where Indian health care comes from? You think somebody in Washington, D.C. just said, you know what, we were awfully crappy to those poor little redskins. Let's give them free health care. You think that's what happened? Read your fucking history, you moron. Read about it. You know what? You're an embarrassment to the Ikte Wakashta, you know? You, you're an, you're just, it, it's amazing to me. Um, I, um, I'm going to put a link up to a document, a great article on... Um, this, the story behind the Indian health care in this country. Uh, do you know that it's been in place ever since George Washington? Um, 220 years of Indian health care in this country. Um, where you get this idea that it's this gift, that it's this this generosity of, 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 of white people, that you have this thing. Um, but I want to, before I go into that, I want to say one thing that you... you I don't know what I'm going to tell you. You may not know this. Um, you know, you're you're not the you're not the the brightest stick in the in the whatever. Um, you know, you don't have to you don't have to use your free health care. Okay, you know, you go to the clinic. You know, you go to the BIA clinic, or you go to I mean the the um, the, the Indian clinic on the res or wherever they happen to have them in your part of the woods. Here we don't have reservations. Uh, we have a search hospital. You present your BIA card and you get health care for free. Okay, you either have a tribal enrollment card. Uh, here it would be the if it be locals, it would be Clinket Haida. Um, anyway, you present that card, you get free health care. All right, you don't have to present the card. They don't make you do it. You don't have to go to the native clinics, man. You can go to any hospital anywhere near where you live, your hospital of choice, and you can reach into your pocket and you can shell out the bucks for it. Okay, you are. A no law prevents you from doing that. Um, I know why you don't do it, uh, because it's free, right? Why would you want to pay for something that's free? Um, what that makes you is a hypocrite. Hypocrite, Nick. Anyway, um, I wanted to, this is what I, what, what I wanted to get to in this, though. Um, make sure I'm going to run out of time here. I'm rambling on. Um, this, I, this, this, I was reading this article in the history of, of healthcare, um, and it okay. It it brought up this point that you what you were saying about uh, why there's free health care because of political correctness. That was not free. It was paid for. The free health services to native people in this continent, on this in this United States, is paid for in blood and it's paid for in land. It was more than adequately paid for. Okay, look at a map of North America. Okay, look at a map of just the United States. See how big it is? Now look at a map of the United States and, you know, one of those where they have it like, I don't know, outlined in red, the reservations, the land that Native people still have today. It's actually not even theirs. It's owned by the U.S. government and held in trust for Native people. It's tiny little spots of land compared to the rest of the country. Those Native peoples, their ancestors moved to those little spots of land, um, not always by choice, sometimes by choice in quotes, meaning it was move there or, or continue this war and get shot. But the agreement was that in, a, in exchange for giving up entire states' worth of land, 90-plus percent of this continent given up 
that they would get free health care forever. I was promised, George Washington promised that. It was in a treaty in 1780. George Washington promised free health care to all Native people forever, provided they didn't, you know, get all uppity and fight back and whatever, all of those things. All right? Um, For the most part, Native people have held up their end of the deal, um, and now idiot descendants of theirs like you are trying to throw it away. It just... It, it pisses me off. But anyway, over the years, there's been repeated attempts by people, well, from your mentality, trying to get rid of this free health care because they're saying it's not fair. They're saying that it's this whatever, that, it's, that it, they don't deserve it. Why should, you know, we should just integrate them into society, get rid of the reservations altogether, get rid of their special status as nation within nation, and make them just U.S. citizens. End of story. That's, you know, and there are some arguments, and I'm not saying I wouldn't disagree with all of the arguments in favor of that. However, um, it multiple times, and it's been shot down. In fact, during the Eisenhower, it came actually really damn close during the Eisenhower administration to actually doing that. Um, but one of the things, this is, this is, um, uh, in 1970, it actually almost happened. I mean, it came really, really close again. And get this now, Rithrandil. If you're watching this video, you need to you need to get a Kleenex um, or be prepared to change your underwear because you're gonna like this a lot, a lot. Trust me. Um, hey, uh, I guess it, this the I don't know if it was. Anyway, the point is is that there was a huge amount of support for um, what was called forced termination, meaning getting rid of native designation altogether, um, and. Um, a man stood up for it, a man who was very passionate about this concept of forced termination, uh, Richard Milhouse Nixon. That, that's why, Rith, I figured you'd like it. Um, and he, this, is what, this, is, this is from this article. The policy of forced termination is wrong in my judgment for a number of reasons. First, the premise on which it rests are wrong, he said. The federal responsibility is not simply an act of generosity towards disadvantaged people that could therefore be discontinued on a unilateral basis whenever the federal government sees fit. The relationship rests on solemn obligations. This is to say, written treaties and, th- and, and through formal and informal agreements. Basically, Richard Nixon said what I just said. These, this health care was paid for in blood and paid for in land, and we can't just nix it because now we suddenly are tired of paying for it, all right? Um, And in that same article, I thought, just to continue on, um, again, my appreciation of Nixon, um, never thought I'd say that as a a liberal, socialist, commie Democrat, that I would would say this, but this article, orders of magnitude increased my appreciation of Nixon. But he wrote right here, this is Nixon speaking to Congress. This then must be the goal of any new national policy towards the Indian people, to strengthen the Indian sense of autonomy without threatening his sense of community. We must assure the Indian that he can assume control of his own life without being separated involuntarily from the tribal group. And we must make it clear that Indians can become independent of federal control without being cut off from federal concern and federal support. Just beautiful, powerful words. Um, Amazing. But anyway, I'll put a link up to this article. It goes through all of that, explains the history of where this of where this uh, came from, explains in very, very no uncertain terms that this is not some gift. That nobody felt sorry for what they did to our, your ancestors and just gave this freebie away, okay? Um, and that you say that just, you have no idea how much it pisses me off. I mean, you are, your attitude is behind so much of the shit that's going on today. Okay, you talk about cancer in America? You're the cancer in America. People that think like you are the cancer in America. So, anyway, uh, that's all I have. Not that you'll be... All, I'm going to try to uh, place this as a video as a video response. I know you won't accept it, but um, if you do, then I'll apologize for just saying that. 